months ago, I came up with this idea, which was to use a row of dominoes as a metaphor for the relentless ticking of time. And that idea kept me up at night. So I eventually came here to tell us world of science because they have thousands of these things called Kiva planks that I could use as dominoes. So we just are finishing setting up the last few dominoes out of 2,000 dominoes. We're gonna have each one of these dominoes represent a million years in the history of the Earth, going back from the present day all the way back to when the nucleus of the cell formed. And <laughs> I'm really terrified actually right now because <laughs> I'm finishing filling these gaps and I think it's extremely likely that something can go wrong. And we've managed to set up so far a total of 2,000 dominoes, which isn't what I was hoping for, but it's still two billion years in our timeline. And we're going to start way back over here. Here we go. Okay. So, cells evolve a nucleus. That's where the genes are stored. And then one cell lives inside of another cell, becoming the ancestor of all mitochondria. Earth is getting warmer again. Viruses figure out how to attack bacteria and time keeps ticking. By now, somewhere, sex is happening. Earth is a giant frozen snowball and now it's getting warmer again. Life becomes multicellular. Now things get totally insane. Animals evolve in the sea. There are, they develop skeletons and there are tons of trilobites. Earth develops an ozone layer. Land plants evolve. The trilobites die in a mass extinction. Forests grow. Land animals evolve. Dinosaurs roam. Pangea breaks apart. Plants fruit. Mammals crawl. Dinos, they die. And this last one is us. That's us. All of the evolution of Homo sapiens. Just there. Cool. <laughs> now, having spent an entire day setting up a row of dominoes with the help from some very good friends, thank you, Jesse and Zach, but having spent the day doing that, there's one thing that boggles my mind the most about this experiment, which is that in all of those 2,000 dominoes, it's just the last one of them, just the last one million years, that is all of the history of Homo sapien, the entire history of our species, just the last million years. Now you might be thinking, Curtis, why did you do two billion years? That seems like a pretty arbitrary number. And to be completely honest, it is. But I knew that I wouldn't be able to do the entire history of that I wanted to do. Because to be honest, I want to do one that's seven times longer. I want to do one that is the entire history of the universe. But uh, if I'm going to commit myself to a mammoth project like that, I need to know that there is interest for it on the internet. Um, because it would be 500 meters long and I might go insane. So if you do want to see something like that, then please like this video or comment letting me know or share it or subscribe to my channel. Just let me know. And if I get enough support for the idea, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm very proud to say that I used to work here at uh, For Science World, and I'm proud to say that because it's a fantastic place, and you should really go and check it out. I want to give a huge thanks to the people that work for Science World for letting me and helping me do this. It wouldn't have been possible without you, and thanks for watching. One, two, three, four. There were these things called trilobites, and then they died. Oh my, oh my, they died.